Now let's take a look at the millennial view on transportation and how the area does or doesn't meet those expectations. Multiple modes of transportation are expected. What they desire is to be able to uh, take a bus, bike, uh, car share, maybe um, not even own their own car. But what they want is to, to make it easy to get around. There's even um, talk of millennials in other areas almost bragging about not needing a car. If they can live in a very urban area where they can walk to get everything they need, their groceries, their conveniences, and they can work in that environment, uh, to them it's, it's excellent that they don't need a car. When you get to hear 20, 25 percent of the respondents in the survey who say, I don't have a car and I don't plan on buying one in the next two years. Yep that's going to have an in impact on what it is they look for everywhere else. You know, what they expect their communities to provide, what their communities look like, and where they decide to live, it's going to be different. Actually, in a number of surveys have indicated that one of the top criteria that millennials look at when deciding on a place to live is the quality of transportation they have. So they're more wanting to live in places that has public transportation, that's more pedestrian friendly, and they want to be less dependent on vehicles and cars in general. A lot of my peers are looking for the same things. Um, the ability to commute to work other than a vehicle, um, more trail systems, being able to be more connected to their downtown community. There are websites out there that give a walk score, so you can type in a uh, zip code and it can give you an idea of if you live in a certain zip code how easy is it to get to everything that you need to get to so obviously downtown Evansville right now has a very high walkability score but if you go out into the McCutcheonville area it's a very low walkability score you have to get in your car to go everywhere. In my ideal environment there's a car but I do like having the ability to like I said go out and ride bikes and go for a walk and I like having sidewalks and things like that. I don't know that I could live somewhere where you can only go in a car and you have to specifically go to a park to take a walk. Millennials typically place more importance on connectivity than car ownership. I asked a group of the other day, a group that's in this generation, and about cars and their attitude. You know, I mean, do you have friends that don't have licenses? Just curious to see if in my communities, if it's the same as what I see in research. And the number one thing they said was, well, it's just so expensive. You know, it can be so expensive to have a car and to rent a car, but at the same time, uh, they, I don't hear anyone complain about their investments and what they have in their data plans or in their phones and other things. They're used to being able to connect. They expect to be able to connect. And so when we say that they might be more interested in connectivity, and then they are in a car, it that can mean a lot of things. It can mean that if I've been connected forever and now you want me to go out, well, what's a way I can go out and be more connected and be with more people? If I'm used to being in groups and I want to be in a group, well, a, a smaller car, everyone going in their own car is not going to be conducive to that. Going on a bus, um, walking, these are, there are going to be other options if, if, it, if we can get to where we want to go that way, where we can be together. Also, if I'm connecting with people uh, through my phone, you know, texting, um, you know, through Twitter, through social media, taking pictures, it's, it can be difficult to do when you're driving, you know, or at least we hope that, you know, people decide not to do. So to have an option where I can be connected with people, even if I'm not with them, and still be moving, still be getting to where I want to go, it makes more sense. So how does Evansville rate when it comes to transportation choices? When you live even downtown, if you want to get to the west side, you almost have to, you know, find a bus, which is not very easy right now in Evansville, or a vehicle. I've lived in Cincinnati and Connecticut and here, and they've all been pretty suburban type places, so I like my car. <laughs> I don't envision living anywhere where I wouldn't have a car, especially with kids. I can't quite get my mind around the logistics of how people do that with subways and going to the grocery and things. Uh, right now, if you're downtown, uh, even in a lot of places throughout the city, you have to drive to get to any sort of grocery store, most restaurants, um, even work. There is no possibility of me walking or biking to work. The University of Southern Indiana and University of Evansville deal with prospective students' questions about how they can get around Evansville or even to Evansville. 
we get the question a lot, do you have train service? And that's not really popped up in the past, but now students coming from Chicago or other major cities ask about not public transportation as much, but do you have train service? How can I get to Evansville and back home? After the freshman or sophomore year, a lot of students do tend to migrate to off-campus apartment complexes, um, mainly due to the, the reason that our campus is a dry campus. Strictly due to our campus location, there's not an easy way to get here without a car. A housing and Residence Life has been working with a car rental company, and they've agreed to allow cars, rental cars, to be parked on campus. Students pay a, a small fee to use these cars, but the typical age that, student, that people are allowed to use rental cars is traditionally 25, and so our agreement with the rental company is that even 18, 19 year olds could use these vehicles so that they do have opportunities to get around if they aren't able to bring a car to campus. At the University of Evansville, even though we're a traditional residence campus, students don't need a car. Our Student Government Association has what they call the Ride Board. So students can sign up on the Ride Board. Hey, I'm going this way. Does anybody want to go? Or I'm looking for a ride. You will always find a student that is going the same direction you are, whether it's to the grocery store, to the movie theater, uh, downtown to our Ford Center. In terms of public transportation, uh, we do have two uh, MET stops very close to our campus if students uh, desire to use that system. There is some mass transportation available and students do utilize that, but the college students have a very different schedule than the typical working person who uses a lot of the mass transportation, so that is a difficulty sometimes. 